kusaliwa mupia ukiona hii sura ninaenda kusaliwa mupia kwa hivyo support me subscribe my youtube channel and enjoy wa wa <laughs> 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 hapa ni tumekuja mkutano kidogo eh, na ndugu yetu mbarambamba na eh, the acting eh, CEO wa KFCB na CEO wa eh, Music Corporate Society of Kenya na wakili wa eh, mbarambamba eh, Dance Tanumari pamoja na wakili mwingine Shadrack na pia wakili wa KFCB ambaye yuko hapa pia eh Mbarambaba was actually summoned but to come more tutafute njia tuketi mahali pamoja so that we try and resolve this whole issue you all know what happened um, he actually allegedly owes KFCB about 6. Point something million and it's part of the discussion that we are having here na maneno ya content and you know the language that is used on video and everything so the process has just started we just sat to agree on the best way forward because looking at him and his image, you will confirm that it is almost impossible for him to raise the such amount of money. But that is really not the subject for discussion for now. The main point that we have, we had here today was to find an amicable solution. And we agreed that going forward, we engage outside the, uh, the, 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 the main judicial process and maybe engage um, or let's, let me say outside court process and engage uh, uh, the ADR. Uh, we are limited to the ADR for now. Of course not the witchcraft one that uh, our, former <laughs> our former Chief Justice said but at least we can be able to talk on how we can solve this whole issue together. And um, like you saw uh, Mbarambamba has already started acting on the, some of the demands by KFCB which um, uh, he knows, you know, he has facts within his knowledge. And um, that in itself has shown a bit of some remorsefulness and, you know, acting within the law as uh, the body may want him to operate under. But of course, in terms of business, he still progresses with his business and worship and praise, at least to the limitations of uh, what is acceptable in society. That is generally what we discuss today. Thank you very much. As you are aware, there was a small problem with one of my clans, commonly known as Mbarambamba. We come from the same clan, the Kisi community. He had a problem with his videos. The entity that regulates that wrote him a demand letter and suspended him from uh, functioning. I reached out to him, told him to come and see me. He came and saw me. But meanwhile, the ban had caused a lot of problems to all the Kisi leadership. The chief whip could not sleep the whole of yesterday night. All the community was up in arms that Embarambara, because that is our brand in music, was now out of circulation. It also came to my brother, Ezekiel uh, Mutua, which you know that he, he is the boss of Akinembarambam. So in solidarity, 
my brother and my brother reached out with me, we decided to engage the entity in a manner that can resolve this dispute. So we have had a discussion and we've agreed that this matter does not need to go to court. This is a matter that we need to forge a relationship. Embarambamba has a following of more than 5 million people worldwide. If he's put out of circulation, they, those who watch him will sue Mutua and they'll sue this chief whip because their role is to ensure artists, if they have made a mistake, they are corrected. They are not punished. As as lawyers, under Article 159, we know that we can take these matters to ADR. So we have discussed with the chief whip, we have discussed with the boss here, he'll also give you his version, so that as we are talking now, Mbarambamba will continue doing his stuff as the discussions are being done. We want to thank the members of the fourth estate for highlighting the plight of Mbarambamba and the whole world was worried that Mbarambamba is no longer going to be an artist. Alikuwa mezuiu asiendele kufanya kazi, tumefanya mazungumzo, na tumeelewana na zile asasi za serikali, na na mshukuru Ezekiel Mtua, na mshukuru, na mshukuru ndugu yangu, Chief Whip, sababu ametupa mahali, tumeketi, tumezungumza, na tumeelewana kwamba wale wafuasi zaidi ya milioni tano wa Mbarambamba wataweza kupata ngoma zake. Kidogo zitakuwa zime zitakatwa katwa kidogo ili kulinganisha na sheria lakini tunashukuru asasi za serikali kwa kukubali ombi letu kwamba wasianze kumshika mbarambara wasianze kumchukua kotini waweze tuzungumze tuweze kupata njia suluhisho kulingana na katiba Mr Christopher Nyangwara Mosiamo e, Mosioma aka Mbarambaba is our member or Music Operating Society of Kenya, member number 4607. And uh, he trades, of course, as Mbarambamba. He has been uh, charged by Kenya Film Classification Board for violating uh, content creation regulations. And uh, as you are aware that he got a letter that has been doing rounds on social media. I had a conversation with uh, uh, Mbarambaba just a few days ago, I think on Saturday, and we agreed to start a process to see how we can change this amazing talent and creativity and energy into something that will promote our moral values and culture and where we use this energy of Mbarambamba not to destroy society but to build society. While Kenya Film Classification Board has to apply the law, we met under the leadership of Mweshmiwa uh, Osoro uh, in a very informal but a conscious way to see how we can resolve this issue out of court. And I'm very grateful that Wakil here and the Kenya Film Classification Board have agreed that we'll actually remove this matter out of court and we'll do, deal with it from an NDR perspective. Our desire as Music Operating Society of Kenya is to mentor creatives like Mbarambamba and others, and you are aware that majority of our young people are within this space. This is the space that can create jobs and wealth for our youth. And we don't want to appear that in the, in the, in the process of promoting morality and our culture, we kill creativity. We know that these people are looking for jobs. And so when Mweshmoa reached out and Wakili, and we reached out to Wakili, we all came together with KFCB to one conclusion, that it is possible for us to do this matter under ADR, which is recognized in law, so that we mentor Mbarambamba, we look at the penalties that have been uh, spelled out, and see how we can help all of us together and make this talent a more useful, productive, and responsible contributor to the development of our country. So that this energy and the following that Mbarambamba has through his creativity is going to become a model that you can change from soul to pole 
and it is possible for someone to conform to our values and make money by doing clean content. So we are here to tell you, Mwashmiwa, that our desire is not to kill this talent. Our desire is not to frustrate the creativity of our youth. Our desire is to guide them. And we have offered as Music Corporate Society of Kenya to stand with him, to mentor him, to take him to any counseling, to any support that he might need, any classes that will help him utilize that energy in a manner that will give him more money. He can get into cooking, into he can play, he can he, there's so much themes that we can work with Embara Mbaba to turn that creativity of jumping on fire and all those things that, that might injure him into something useful. What I like about him as I conclude is the fact all of us are agreeing to the fact that the language and some of the words are not very nice. Even Mwashimiwa agrees, even Wakili. But how do we make this product a better product for our society, Kenya? That's the process we have started today. We are very grateful to Mwashimiwa that he could spare his time. We have spent three hours to, uh, this afternoon going through this matter. Embara Mbamba has given his version through Wakili and Dunstan Omari. We have given our version as the people representing musicians in Kenya and we have listened to KFCB in terms of the Fumes and Stench Place Act and the violations that have been done. We have all come into the conclusion that we will move to the ADR and help this product to become a better contributor to the development of our country. Now, members of the Fourth State, we had a, a meeting in the afternoon under the stewardship of the majority whip, uh, Silvano Sosero, uh, Osoro Moshimiwa. Now, uh, you will recall that uh, on the 28th day of February 2024, there was a letter that was written or a demand that was written by the Kenya Films Class uh, Classification Board that demanded uh, an amount of about 6.4 million shillings from Mr. Embarambamba, our client. Now, following that demand, we put in a response, which, of course, necessitated a meeting between the Kenya Films and Classification Board and ourselves so that we can try and find a common ground so that we can also uh, you know, save the talent and the, the, the kind of uh, ministry that Mr. Embarambamba has been doing. Now, to, just to summarize, is that we have agreed under the spirit of Article 157 of the Kenyan Constitution, which promotes, uh, 159, sorry, 159 of the, uh, the Kenyan Constitution, we have agreed that it is the, res the responsibility of us to ensure that we promote reconciliation by exploring the, the different tools that are there in law, uh, particularly negotiation, so that we can save uh, the face and the talent that Mr. Mbarambamba here possesses. So for that, we are going to have follow-up meetings to ensure that we reconcile what the Kenya Films and Classification Board wants and uh, what Mr. Mbarambamba needs to do. So I think with that, uh, I thank the members of the, for the, the further state. Uh, I thank Mushmiwa for his stewardship. I thank my senior Mr. Dunstan Omari. And equally, I, I applaud Mr. Uh, Dr. Sorry. I apologize profusely, yes, Dr. Ezekiel Mutua, <laughs> for, for his guidance. Thank you. The fact is that these, these, these artists or these people living within our society are our subjects. They are the subjects of the Music, uh, music Copyright Society of Kenya. They are subjects of uh, uh, Kenya Film and uh, Classification Board. And they are also our subjects uh, as uh, people's representative. And they are subjects to the uh, learned uh, friends, to the lawyers, to the advocates of the High Court. And we must learn to live with them. If it really doesn't kill, then you can actually rectify it. You don't really need to hit... Uh, I, from us, and I think the point that has come out from this whole meeting is that we're actually killing a mosquito using a hammer. It's something that we can sit down and try and engage and talk and say, okay, you give you need now going forward to give clean content you have talent you are you already known you have um, so many subscribe uh, exactly so many uh, you know followers uh, or rather massive following in your youtube channel in your social media now that is enough you're already up there at the peak can you change a little bit from soul to pole can you adjust part of your content that is exactly what the discussion was about now where you faulted instead of being really given a serious punitive retribution can it be reviewed, you know, because you represent also a subject of people who aren't peanuts, a subject of people who are poppers. So those are the things that we're also engaging to the regulator, with the regulator, the KFCB, and uh, gladly they've actually accepted. And when you go to that level, 
we then pushed it further to now alternative dispute resolution mechanism other than normal judicial process, normal court process that maybe could have had him uh, you know, tried in the court of law, then of course fined or something like that. I mean, really, you're not helping. Because as KFCB, you need such lines as fee. And you also need clean content in the market. You need to change par characters. As a music copyright society, you need members to grow. Uh, I mean, such is a community. And as you can see today, very unusual of him, uh, Embarambamba is quietly listening to us as we talk. Yeah. He's not jumping up and down. <laughs> that in itself should show you that even the three hours that we had a meeting were not in vain. In, in normal circumstances, you would have seen him jumping over the cameras. So there is progress and it must be gradual. You don't, need, you don't expect it to happen quite fast overnight as uh, like instant coffee. So it's something gradual and um, it's part of our society, uh, people, and I'm happy that he's also accepted. In any case, by the way, there is progress. Out of the 1,500 videos that are uploaded in uh, YouTube channels, He's been able to delete over 300. Over th no, actually, 300. over 500. Oh, yeah. Over yeah. 500 to edit them. And some completely deleted. To fit in the content that is fit for society. I mean, really, please, you've already followed him with bad content. And so I think. Now, he's got good content going forward. Please continue following him. Give him encouragement and, you know, support his industry so that he can also be able to educate his children and grow his industry. Thank you very much. Kusariwa Mupia, ukiona hii sura, ninaenda kusariwa Mupia. Kwa hivyo, support me, subscribe my YouTube channel and enjoy. Wow.